Hi guys, um, just a little update on the CNC mill. So I've got my tool changer manually, um, manually going through the tool change sequence so I can change and push buttons and make the whole tool changer work. And now I just need to connect up the classic ladder PLC logic stuff to actually make it automatically do a tool change when I type in M6. Um, it's a random position tool changer, so the tool number um, prepares the tool changer ahead of time and then the M6 actually does the tool change. So anyway, I'll just come in over to the machine. Um, so you can see my my tool change arm here, um, various various things. I've got a solenoid at the top of the tool change which fires to drop the tool and you can see just here, oh perfect, um, my classic ladder lube pump here is just about to fire. So this is linked to the machine on signal. So it's got a timer. There we are. The lube pump is turned on for 10 seconds every 2 minutes. I think it's 10 seconds. Yeah. Cool. And I've got my e-stop loop and the classic ladder above. Now down here you can see all the inputs and outputs. Um, those, those are just all my sensors and all my outputs are linked to that. So from 23 to 31 is the inputs, from output 3 to 8 is all the outputs. And um, that's just how I can visually check at the moment that all my sensors and everything and stuff is working for the soul changer. Um, yeah, I'll just pause this and go around the back of the machine. Okay, um, so here's my contactors up the top. They take 110 volts from this transformer, which I originally um, got rid of, but anyway, long story, it's back now. Um, so you can see on the contactors, the left one is coolant, then we've got magazine clockwise and counterclockwise, and the arm clockwise that fires round, and then chip conveyor and... Um, chip conveyor clockwise. Um, so what happens with the circuit is the MESA card down there controls this relay board up here which controls the contactors. And you can see all the computer and all the stuff in the back here. Okay, we'll actually go up and power up this thing and make it move now. Okay, so we're looking at the front of the machine now. Um, we're gonna just drop the simulate dropping the tool out at the moment. Cool. And if you look on the screen here, so, so the, the top two you can see it's um, up and down and you can tell when the, um, you can tell, you can tell what the sensors are doing so they're actually tracking whether the tool is up or the tool is down at the moment. Um, so I'll just go up around the other side of the machine. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, I gotta show you guys this. Um, this is just my my tool changer here firing up off the timer. I changed the timing to go only once every 15 minutes, so that's it for the next 15 minutes now. Okay. Um, just try to get a good shot down here. Cool. So, Marco, can you um, spin the magazine? Magazine. Yep, so you can see the the sensor on the side there clicking, so that's telling Micah on his screen that the sensor's working and there's a home position sensor that flicks as well. Okay, so try stop it on a pocket. Yeah, that's how's that? Back a bit. Do do go to the next pocket. Yep. Oh. Yeah, that's close enough, yep. Okay, drop the pocket. And up, pocket up. Okay, pocket down. And then arm tool change. Wait. And back to neutral. Yep. Okay, pocket up. Cool, and then magazine to next tool. Yeah, pocket down. Uh, tool chain, tool arm, rotate. 
Just once, and back to neutral, yep. Pock it up. Magazine rotates the next. Wait, okay, that's it. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So you can see it's it's all working as far as the tool changer here. Um, there's still there's still a whole heap more stuff to do, but um, that's it now until I get the la the ladder logic sussed out.